Hi guys, welcome to this video review about the Silicon Power 1TB M2 SSD storage. It's currently listed for $134 on Amazon. It uh, things started at about $170 mid last year, then price dropped in pre-Christmas season to about $110. This is when I bought it. Now prices are increasing again and I think maybe it's due to the coronavirus. We don't know. I mean, the a lot of production has been decreased in China. I don't know where the storage, uh, where the components are coming from i mean the sp silicon power does not manufacture the storage on its own i mean they buy the storage and then they put it together and yeah i don't know what they really have to do as far as manufacturers go it's of course not the first tier manufacturer i mean not the premium a manufacturer like Samsung Silicon Power I would say or a lot of people are calling it like a second tier or medium tier I mean uh, it's definitely not a known name they have been around for almost 20 years so I think we can consider this as a reliable brand and it's just a little bit cheaper usually than the top brands which is good uh, definitely at least for me the good thing is I mean it's M2 and it says up to 3400 megabytes reading and up to 3000 megabytes of writing the question is do we really get this speed i'm going to show you that later on on my pc so yeah i bought it in november then i started to migrate my or i tried to migrate my windows 10 to this SSD I mean I actually wanted to clone it but it totally failed I used a couple of different software I even was buying some cloning software I tried literally everything which was on the market and I haven't been successful most of the tools they said yeah it failed some of the tools said yeah it was cloning was successful with the whole like running system and then I tried to boot from there and yeah it didn't work so yeah what I was actually trying to replace was a 128 gigabytes of storage which was definitely not enough as a c drive for me even when i was really careful so in the long term it was really difficult to handle so i thought yeah it's much better with one terabyte so i haven't been able to clone that's really a bad thing but i've heard this from many many people they haven't been successful with cloning their whatever it is maybe small ssd or small hard disk drive or just hard disk drive to a faster ssd so this is probably depending on your system like the motherboard and really the thing what you're using the software which you're using and uh, there's really it's really difficult to find out what you have to do to be successful to clone it but anyway after that i've given up and just uh, set up the new, the total windows 10 from scratch which is of course uh, definitely not a bad thing so you have a clean system again so how did it work yeah uh, it was really easy to plug it in by the way my system is this one here that's this asus rog uh, laptop gaming laptop with a gtx 980 which is not bad but of course not the latest thing anymore it's about i think two or three years old but still it's quite capable to play good games so i thought yeah it could definitely need an upgrade and so i did it with this card yeah it was really easy to mount it on my motherboard even in my laptop was definitely not difficult then also setting up the new windows 10 system was super easy no problem with that and since then i mean that was december now we have february two months of 
full running system um, sometimes gaming uh, doing some benchmark things and a lot of different things and the system is totally stable i haven't had any problems with that and i thought yeah after two months of a really fine running system i can definitely give you the sign off and tell you yeah it's good to buy i haven't seen any problems so far also the reviews here are mainly really good as you can see very few one star reviews i mean there are always people complaining yeah high fail rate i don't know ssd running hot i haven't seen anything yeah and this one says here yeah read speed was great but write speed was only 115 to maximum 1000 megabytes so yeah what's what are my results i've tested it with this user benchmark as you can see you can even yeah you i think with the number here you can even check my my results again if you're interested into that i've done this a couple of times here you see it compared to the hard disk drive which i still have and this is the m2 ssd yeah it doesn't say there are really great results as you can see here here i have tested this three times and every time it said yeah performing way below expectations one time it was i think four percent one one time it was in the lowest percent and one time it was a little bit higher so i'm going to show you that so here we have the different result that was the 16 percentile yeah up to i think yeah that was my best result here from this uh, benchmark test and it showed with sequential read write yeah it says 1147 megabytes which is of course uh, outstanding regarding uh, overall hard disk or like whatever you have and even they said actually that's surprising going back to this thing here what surprised me i mean i mean i'm not a specialist with user user benchmark but it says actually still here that 137 percent is an exceptional ssd score that's really interesting here they say actually it's a good score and then we go when we go down they say it's a bad score so i think maybe they compare it to the normal ssds which is not the m2 but the old i think how's they call 3.5 inch or whatsoever and they are usually or they were usually slower i mean they're still existing but usually people tend to go to the m2 ssd so it looks like it's not badly performing actually i mean here we have a couple of these readings uh here was the best one and but here already we see 1147 it said performing way below expectations and here yeah it was the one percentile at 655 megabytes and here at 736 so these were the three tests everything about same and i thought okay that's not looking good uh that's way from the 3000 and 3400 which they say on amazon when we go back to the listing yeah well, yeah here we have it they clearly say 3400 3000 megabytes so what's wrong maybe there's something wrong with my system and then i checked yeah okay i have one possible firmware upgrade from for my motherboard and i wanted to do that actually but the problem is my battery is not i don't have a battery at my laptop and it's not secure to upgrade the motherboard without the battery so i didn't do that but i've been reading the upgrade information and it says actually it's just uh, stabilization i mean it's just to stabilize the firmware it's not like a speed upgrade or something like that so it shouldn't really matter and then i thought yeah okay what can i do to get another reading and so i went to the old good old usb flash benchmark and started on the c drive which is the m2 
and here it showed different results and as you can see it showed pretty high results for reading and writing the reading i think is green the writing is red and it started with the largest file size at around 2000 or 2500 megabytes which is quite a lot and i don't understand why the user benchmark from here didn't get to the same results it's really surprising or disappointing i don't know why this different results here i mean we can see do we see the file size no we don't see that but yeah it shouldn't be such a problem i guess they they are also starting with pretty large files and 16 megabytes they are not so big and as you can see the graph here yeah it's not ex exponential here going up i don't know what's the problem here i mean usually the usb flash benchmark is a, is a good thing so i'm trusting to the thing and so for me it definitely looks good so far i mean you can do the uh, I, I can do this again even while recording maybe it's a little bit slower but i don't think it will show uh, much of a difference as you can see yeah pretty much same thing here you have seen it in live even a little bit higher readings so that's definitely good to go and you can see here the yeah, breakpoint here is around yeah four megabytes maybe eight megabytes and definitely has nothing to do with the file size as long as we have yeah i would say uh, above two megabytes we can achieve really a uh, high speed and only with a really small file size it, it, it's going down but yeah it is as it is but i mean when we compare it to the normal hard disk and yeah and and see these results here me with 0 0.93 uh, megabytes even when we are really slow here at 61 megabytes as you can see it's almost 100 times and here at least 10 times to compared to the speed of a normal hard disk drive so it's definitely worse to do an upgrade especially if you either need the space or need speed compared to normal physical hard disk drive so that's it for now and yeah anyway uh, i will put down the link to this listing into the description so you can check it out or it right from here if you like it i mean there are different sizes and again i think the price will rather go up than go down because of the coronavirus pretty sure about that and yeah that's it for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time